Thank you for that live report. And now to the latest on a long-standing leaking roof and water damage at East Longmeadow High School. It's something we've been following for several years. The latest problems reported just this week. Western Mass News reporter Glenn Kittle getting answers on what the school is doing to fix the problems. Western Mass News was sent photos of leaky roofs at East Long Meadow High School. So today we spoke with school committee chairman Gregory Thompson on how he plans to fix that leaky roof. Western Mass News has been following this story for quite some time. Our cameras capturing this video inside East Long Meadow High School back in 2019. You can see some of the same issues, leaky roofs and falling ceiling tiles that have been plaguing the school for years. East Long Meadows School Committee Chairman tells Western Mass News the school is working to fix the latest round of damage. We believe this uh, specific leak is due to the sun skylights. Uh, we have dome skylights um, throughout the building. We've been replacing them throughout the years. We have budgeted uh, replacement of 22 of those for this year. Thompson says the estimated cost to fix the immediate issues in the high school is about $3.5 million. He tells us they'll continue to make the repairs as necessary, but he believes the money would be better invested in their new school project. In looking to build a new high school, would it be prudent to spend that 3.5 now uh, to only build a, a new high school and potentially move in in three to four years? Thompson adds the school committee is currently in the design phase of the new school project with the cost yet to be determined. Thompson is inviting community members to a meeting to show them the damages inside the high school in order to inspire increased support for a new school building. We do have a meeting coming up on the uh, 16th of March uh, that the town is welcome to come for. They can ask questions, tour the building if they want. It will be at the high school at 6 p.m. Uh, so we can give them further information at that point. Reporting in East Long Meadow, Glenn Kittle, Western Mass News.